Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to tell you what I think is the difference between a good and a great mobile experience. So a little bit more about me first though. I am Sarah Duty, and I am a user experience designer and entrepreneur based in New York City. And these little episodes are filled with honest insights and answers to your questions about user experience design and technology. So each week I record videos and answer questions from readers of my weekly user experience newsletter. So this week, a guy named Brian has asked, what is my favorite use of user experience in a mobile app? So the one mobile app that I really use all the time, every day, multiple times a day is Slack. I don't know if you use Slack, but it's great for communicating with your team members or clients. I use it to communicate with my assistant over in England, um, different team members here in New York City. I belong to some different UX groups. Um, and I use Slack as well to run the group, the private group for the students in my online course. So Slack is a really, really vital part of my day. Now, Slack has an awesome desktop app, but what I've come to really love is the mobile app or iPhone app for Slack. So I want to pull it up for you guys. Um, let me get out of my Instagram here and let me go to Slack. I have way too many things on my home screen. Um, so this is embarrassing. I can't find it. Oh yeah, there it is. <laughs> um, so Slack. I'm in a ton of different Slacks and I want to sign into one that I already logged out of to show you the one feature that I really, really love. So I'm going to go ahead and sign into um, user experience design.slack.com. So that's a big user experience group, um, also known as Designer Hangout. And I'm going to go ahead and sign into it. So I've got userexperiencedesign.slack.com. That's the domain. And now I'm going to hit next. Now it asks me for my email. So I'm going to type my email correctly. Uh, there we go. Sarah, uh, there's my email. Now everyone knows it, but you can find it anyway if you're online. Pretty easy to guess. Um, okay, now I'm going to do my password and surprise, I honestly don't remember it. I never remember any of my passwords. I'm always doing password resets. But notice what Slack does here. So they don't even present me with a password field. They say password long, hard to type. Get a magic link sent to your email that'll sign you in instantly. Or if I want, I can type my password. So if I'm really smart, I can go here and type my password and they'll just type a bunch of stuff, which is not my password, but okay, I guess two points here. Point number one is if I'm typing in my password on mobile, I mean, typing's annoying to begin with. So what I love that we're seeing mobile apps do more and more, and even on desktop, is to have this little icon. It's an eyeball, if it's not obvious there. Um, and you just put that eyeball and then it shows you what you're typing. So if I knew my password, I could, you know, type, 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 type. And there it is. And then I can hide it and show and hide. Really great user experience because it has considered the context of me in this situation. I'm on my mobile device. It's hard to type. It's small. Let me see what I'm typing. Also, we probably don't have to worry about, worry about privacy because... The phone is like super close to me, so no one's really looking over my shoulder stealing my password, but it's nice to show and hide it. So that's the first point. That's not the point I meant to make because I got really excited, but here's the cool thing about the Slack um, mobile experience. So we entered in our email address, and now um, password too long, hard to type. Yeah, I don't remember it. Never remember them. So I'm not going to type my password. I'm going to do magic link. So the first time I saw this, it was so 
wonderful because it saved me from doing the annoying password reset. So let's do magic link. So we hit send magic link, send, check your email. We sent an email, it is a magic link that will sign you in. So we go to my email and then with any luck, we will just wait for it. There it is, press that, wonderful. So now we asked for a magic link to quickly sign in to user experience design. Um, click this or copy and paste the link. It's gonna expire in 24 hours. So click the button, tap the button, we're on mobile. It's gonna take me to a browser. Now I wanna open it in the app because that's much better for me. Or I could use it on, on the browser but I want to launch Slack. So open in Slack, open the Slack app, and dun, 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 dun. there we are. I'm in my designer hangout, Slack. Awesome. And there's like so much awesome discussion in this designer hangout, that little red thing that's the, the icon for it. But if you just Google like designer hangout Slack, you'll find this and then you can request an invite or something. I'll link to it in the notes below. But here's the point I wanna make. Let me get out, out of that. Here's the point I wanna make. The first time I used that, I was so excited because I thought, wow, that was so thoughtful of them. Well, first of all, I really forgot my password, so it saved me a ton of time. But second, taking my user hat off and thinking as a designer, I thought, Wow, it was really great that they thought of the context to do this thing magic link. But when you think about it, they're really not doing anything different than a lot of companies do when you do a password reset. A lot of times you do a password reset and companies will send you um, a link that logs you in. But the, here's the cool thing Slack did. First of all, a lot of times when you request a password or say, I forgot my password, takes you to a page with an input field and you have to type your email address. Again, it's always so redundant. But since I had previously just typed my email as though I was gonna log into my Slack, they saved me from that step, which was awesome. And then the other cool thing is, they made this password reset process kind of fun because they called it Magic Link. Now, whenever I think of Slack, I think of how useful it is but I also know that I forget, if I forget my password there, it's not gonna be some annoying multi-step convoluted thing to reset my password, it's just there. And so all that to say, saves me a lot of time because like I said, I'm in Slack all the time, many times a day. But this really brings us back to the idea of what is a great user experience? And the great user experiences are the ones that are the combination of all the little, little, little things throughout the whole experience. So yes, when I am typing in Slack to people and when I'm private messaging them, it's wonderful. When I'm uploading files, it's nice. It looks nice, everything. But the forgot password experience is great too. And if you wanna create a great experience that is memorable, you have to make sure that every little interaction is well thought out, that you don't forget anything because it's the sum of all those experiences that creates a great experience. It's not just the kind of hero part of your product. So it's not just kind of the main chat area in Slack. It's everything. It's the forgot password. It's the visual design. It's the brand. It's the tone of their emails. It's the little Slack bot that um, comes up sometimes. It's everything. The experience is the product and the product really is the brand. So creating a great experience has to be the sum of all these little touch points. Also, this brings me to the topic of delight. Now, delight, I think is kind of a dirty word. And here's why, because so many companies come to me and they say, yeah, and we just, we're gonna make it delightful. And it's this, really ridiculous buzzword. I don't know who started it, but it should be shut down immediately <laughs> because I feel like the delight is kind of like a lazy cop out for putting effort into your whole experience. It's kind of like, oh, if we 
throw some gold stars and badges and stuff on our experience. It's going to be delightful. You know, we put like a cat graphic on our error page. Delight. It's not delightful. For some people it is, but you know what is delightful? That Slack forgot password. That's delightful. Delightful should be baked into the experience. It shouldn't just be slapped on like some accessory you go buy to like make your living room look nice, even though you bought crappy furniture and you painted it with some ugly paint color. <laughs> anyway, delight is not an add-on. Delight has to be baked into your whole experience. So that's why I love Slack because they bake delight into the whole experience and they've thought through my experience as a user and the context of my experience depending on what device I'm on. So yes, this also exists on the desktop, but it's so well thought out um, and it's just reframed. Instead of being some boring forgot password, it's the magic link, it's kind of cool. So, and I don't feel like that's gimmicky. I feel like it's very on brand for Slack. Um, what would be gimmicky of Slack is to have like tacky badges and a leaderboard showing who posted the most or who got the most replies in chat today. That would be really dumb. So it would just be like an afterthought. So if you want to create a great user experience, you have to think through every little touch point, every single interaction, and you can't use delight as a lazy cop out to try and add delight to your experience at the very end. Um, you have to think of how do you create a great experience at every point in the experience and don't rely on gamification or badges or cats and stuff to fix maybe a bad experience you already made. So that's it for today. If you have a question for me, you can go to saradoody.com and there's a contact link and you can submit your question for me there. We have a pretty big queue, but we're trying to get through as many questions as possible. And um, if you want to connect further, comment below and maybe tell me what your favorite um, app is concerning their mobile experience or what good kind of examples of delight and don't send me links to gamification. Um, what well thought out kind of experiences are memorable, are delightful, even though I don't like that word. So leave a comment below and let me know. And if you want to submit a question, you know how to do that. Um, that's all for today. And if you want to learn more about user experience, you can grab my weekly user experience newsletter called theuxnotebook.com. You can subscribe um, at the link, which is on this video as well in the notes below. We have links to that as well. Or you can just go right over to theuxnotebook.com and sign up and you get your first issue on Friday. So thanks guys. Um, we're going to keep working through our question queue. So bear with us and have a good day wherever you are. And I'll talk to you soon. See ya.